This is Tom Norfleet with www.citizenshipquickly.com. I'd like to go over uh, how the St. Kitts Citizenship by Investment can actually help you avoid the coronavirus and other pandemics that could come up. Most people know someone who's actually died from the coronavirus. I had a friend that I used to go to boarding school with in the 1960s and 1970s that actually caught the coronavirus back in February 2020. Uh, he did this by actually going to Mardi Gras in New Orleans, Louisiana. He came back home and immediately got sick, and he was put on a ventilator, and then he died from the virus several weeks later. A lot of people contracted the virus at, at, at the Mardi Gras that was held in New Orleans because of the closeness from you know getting around a large group of people, and then it start, started to spread like wildfire from that point. Uh, it is thought to spread mainly from person to person, mainly through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can actually land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Spreading the virus is more likely when people are in close contact with one another within about six feet. It may be possible that a person can get the COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has been uh, that's actually had the virus on it or then touching your own uh, mouth, nose, or possibly your eyes. Um, I read where a lot of people uh, were just getting on their yachts and literally going out to sea to wait, you know, wait out the virus. This is uh, what a lot of people have done to, to basically get the solitude they wanted to avoid the virus. One efficient way of avoiding the virus without going out to sea on a yacht is to... Um, being a real small, beautiful country where uh, there hasn't been anybody who's actually died from the virus. The smaller the country, the more likely that you're actually going to ca catch the virus to begin with. Uh, World War I claimed an estimated 16 million lives. The influenza uh, epidemic that actually swept the world back in 1918 killed an estimated 15, uh, 50 million people. One-fifth of the world's population was actually attacked by this deadly virus. Within months, it killed more people than any other illness in recorded history. My mother actually had two siblings in 1918 from the influenza uh, epidemic that actually you know, lost their lives. Uh, think about this for a minute. What would happen if a pandemic occurred that was, where there was no vaccine that could be found? You know, what would you do? Well, according to data compiled from John Hopkins University, more than 3.2 million people have been infected by this coronavirus so far, and the global death toll is more than 229,000. And, and this has been as of uh, just this May. St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, which are two countries but one federation, had no death results from the coronavirus as of May the 5th, 2020, which is the day I'm doing this video. Uh, the USA had 1.21 million cases as of May the, the 5th, which is today, 2020, with 69,680 deaths. One reason St. Kitts and Nevis had no deaths from the coronavirus is uh, they're both real small countries uh, that total only about 50,000 population with the two countries combined. Uh, as soon as the coronavirus was present in St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, the, the, both of those countries actually shut down the airlines and the cruise ships from coming into the Federation. Uh, this, this had a big effect on the uh, stopping the coronavirus from you know, really spreading out. Uh, but a second passport in a real small country such as St. Kitts and Nevis has been proven to be a health, great health insurance policy because the pandemic can be controlled a lot more effectively, uh, as you can see by the figures that I've given you. Uh, that if you're in a small populated country, your chances of getting the virus is, is close to zero. Uh, you can get the residency and not citizenship, but citizenship can give you the protection, deportation, and uh, uh, actually de give you protection from deportation, extradition, and give you the right to work, whereas residency, uh, it's not going to give you this, any type of protection like this. Uh, I've gone through other videos which is uh, I want to briefly highlight here uh, that remember if you're getting going to get a passport and you're going to get uh, uh, this and you want to do it real fast, I would keep the following traits in mind. And that is uh, uh, if you're getting a passport, get a citizenship program that you know you can get as long as you've got no civil criminal problems. 
uh, because a lot of these residency by investment countries don't go by their statutory requirements after the minimum residency requirements have been made, therefore messing up your plans for a passport in a reasonable amount of time. I've seen so many people not get the passport because of this. And number two is make sure the country that you're actually applying with has no military requirements to get the passport. This can affect you and also affect your children uh, and also your grandkids. Make sure that the tax system also that's in place for that country is either territorial or has a pure tax haven in place where they don't tax your income outside the country. And number four is make sure if there's a language requirement that you're already fluent in that language before you're actually applying for the passport or don't apply. I've seen so many people not get the passport because they can't learn the language. And number five is always verify that that country that you're applying for allows dual citizenship or don't engage in that program. Uh, remember this, a country that's issuing your passport, they own that passport. It's not your passport. They can cancel it whenever they want, or they can choose not to renew the passport. And if you don't have a second passport, you're really, you're really stranded. And you don't want a country to be able to control you, so you need to uh, get a passport in a country uh, that, has, that allows dual citizenship. This is real important uh, to get this done. And always choose a country that has a lot of visa-free countries uh, in that they at least uh, have visa-free or visa-free on arrival to the Shenzhen countries that are in Europe. Uh, this way you're not get, having to get visas everywhere. Uh, also, if you want to learn more on how to legally get your taxes to zero or how to get a second passport in as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen, and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two is uh, I'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, please put it below, and I'll get back with you in the comment section. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Fill out the questionnaire at the top of the website, and we can help you get started. We deal with about 74 citizenship by investment or residency by investment countries. If you're not interested in uh, uh, St. Kitts, we have many other countries. We just like St. Kitts and Antigua, especially because they check all the boxes on all the negatives that people run across. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.